Hi dears, a summary of the last chapter of class 10th biology that is 8th unit, the past traversed by life is going to present here. It is me, Rishi Dodakal, GVHSS Kondoti. At the beginning of this chapter, it is given how life could have originated on the primitive earth after the origin of earth. The panspermia theory argues that the primitive cell may have originated from organic substances obtained from meteors that came from some other plants. Oparin and Halden argued that the primitive cell was formed in the primitive ocean through the evolution of chemical substances that took place after the origin of Earth. This hypothesis can be called the theory of chemical evolution. According to this theory, that is chemical evolution, uh, the inorganic gases formed in the primitive atmosphere reached the primitive ocean through rain and then formed simple organic molecules and then complex molecules and super complex, complex uh, molecules. A fatty envelope formed around the nucleic acid thus formed and the primitive cell capable of division of formed. The absence of free oxygen and certain forms of energy led to this type of chemical evolution of molecules. Stanley Miller and Harold Urey later set up an experimental system to prove this idea and they could obtain organic molecules such as amino acids from inorganic gases. Uh, you can look at the illustration 8.2 in the textbook. The primitive cell is believed to have formed around uh, 3,800 million years ago. Then prokaryotes and from them eukaryotes were evolved. Multicellular organisms may have evolved from the colony of eukaryotes. J.B. Lamarck, Charles Robert Darwin and others have tried to explain how evolution occurs. Lamarck explained that acquired characters developed during the lifetime of organism accumulate through generations and led to the formation of new species. But Lamarckism was not accepted as these acquired characters do not change the genes and thus not inheritable. Charles Darwin formulated his theory of natural selection on the basis of the uh, studies and long-term observation conducted on organism in Galapagos Islands. The differences in the beaks of Galapagos finches attracted him as these winches had break, uh, beaks adapted to their feeding habits. The population theory of Robert Malthus also attracted Darwin to formulate Darwinism. According to the theory of uh, natural selection, overproduction occurs among species causes a type of competition called the struggle for existence. Now only organisms with favorable variations survive in the struggle for existence while others are eliminated. Uh, in other words, nature selects those organisms having favorable variation to exist in that nature. Accumulation of variations inherited through generation and generations results the formation of new species. Darwin presented his ideas through in his book named The Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection, but he could not explain the reasons for such variations because of no idea regarding genes or chromosomes at that time. Later, Hugo de Vries explained that mutations that cause variation leads to evolution of species. In the light of new information from the fields of genetics, cytology, geology, and paleontology, Darwinism was revised as neo-Darwinism. Paleontology, or study of fossils, comparative morphology of homologous organs, biochemistry, physiology, and modern molecular biology provide uh, evidences to validate evolution. The study of fossils or paleontology reveals that complex structured organisms are evolved from primitive simple organisms. Moreover, certain linking fossils reveal uh, the evolution of one form of organism from another form. The comparative morphological studies of homologous organs, biochemistry and physiology justify the inferences that all organisms were evolved from a common ancestor. Through a comparative study of protein molecules in different species, the evolutionary relationship of different species of organisms can be identified. The comparison of amino acid in the hemoglobin, for example, reveals that the chimpanzee is the closest living creature to humans. Humans, chimpanzee, gorilla, orangutan, and gibbon are included in the hominoidea category, but long-tailed monkeys are included in another category called Cercopithecoidea. From this, it can be understood that men did not evolve directly from monkeys. Both the Cercopithecoidea and Hominoidea are included in the category of Andropoidea, 
that means both these groups may have a common ancestor in anthropoidea based on the fossils available to us the oldest member of the human race is believed to be ardipithecus ramidus which is believed to have originated in africa later the australopithecus appeared the first member of the genus homo is believed to be homo habilis who had made weapons from stones and bone pieces homo erectus had the ability to stand erect with thick chin and long teeth the fossils have been found not only in africa but also in asia homo neanderthalensis were contemporary to modern man that is homo sapiens due to various human interventions climatic changes brought about the extinction of organisms occurred so far 